Today, I wanna to make the case to switch to Linux from Windows, as we discussed in the past, retrace your steps with Recall. This is a feature that's getting introduced to Windows and the Copilot PCs that allows you to search across time and find the content that you need. While this sounds fascinating and great to automatically just pull up something that you've done in the past, with this cool new Recall feature, we've spoke about many different problems with saving screenshots and snapshots of your particular screen in this recall feature so that it can actually do this type of recall and tell you where and at what time you were performing some sort of an action. And today I wanna to focus on a worrying feature which is not being able to disable recall as a feature on new Windows systems. Now, is this the case? We're gonna figure out, well, what does recall do? Well, it takes snapshots or screenshots of your computer every few seconds in order to have a context window that allows you to search those contexts and give you information back based on things that you were doing in the past by simply writing messages to recall. Yeah, that's all cool, but not when you're forcing a feature on us, which seems to have overwhelming security and privacy concerns with even a hack taking place in an SQLite database where recall was storing its information. We already talked about how hackers can potentially just get into the recall feature and then look up almost anything that they want on your system that you were doing in the past. And we just start envisioning this nightmare that this recall feature creates. And one of the most important things is the fact that you should be able to disable this recall feature when it does come to Windows computers. So the Windows recall feature is available for Copilot Plus PCs, which is a new type of PC that Windows is trying to introduce with AI as it's all the buzz nowadays. Anyways, very high system requirements for this thing, but that's not what we're interested in today. Instead, I wanna talk about the recall feature as Microsoft continues to constantly flip-flop on what it's going to do. So it's losing our trust as it already has lost the trust of many people in Windows, and that's why people are starting to choose to go to Linux. And it makes a lot of sense as Microsoft reverses course makes recall feature opt-in only after a security backlash. So this is on June 7th months ago. Microsoft announced changes on Friday to the controversial recall feature that will allow the users to proactively opt-in for this tool before it is activated on devices. Well, okay, after a lot of backlash, they decided to make a change there and let people actually choose whether or not they wanted to use this, not just throw it on them. Is that the case? Well, no, this is from the record news website. Now let's go to Windows Central, where we had another article posted on September 2nd that kind of counteracts what we just read in the last one. Turns out you won't be able to uninstall Windows 11 recall feature after all. So funnily enough, Microsoft says the ability to uninstall Windows recall is just a bug and I think it's just a feature, but you still will be able to turn it off. Sure, you'll be able to turn it off, but how can you turn it off? How easy is it to turn off? Because what this was saying is there was a feature, much like you would find in Windows, in which you could go through the list of features and simply uncheck recall. That's what they're talking about as a bug. That wasn't supposed to show up. They never wanted it. They never intended it to work that way. Instead, they wanna keep you forced into using recall. So that's why you're seeing more and more people talking about this, as well as this constant flip-flop really becoming a push point for a lot of people to switch to Linux. What's the point if you can't disable something you don't wanna use, or if it's very hard to disable that particular feature that you don't wanna use? Well, that's what Windows looks like it's doing for us. And take a moment to make sure to smash that like button for me if you're enjoying this type of content. Also, make sure to subscribe below so you can get more videos like this. Let's continue on. So from Windows Central, what you need to know, last week the option to uninstall Windows Recall began appearing on Windows settings. Now Microsoft says the option to uninstall Recall is a bug and won't be possible when, when Recall officially launches on Copilot Plus PCs. So then we move on to a Verge article. Microsoft says its Recall uninstall option in Windows 11 is just a bug. Another report on September 2nd of the same thing. So here they give us an exact image of how you could uninstall that feature. Recall. All you have to do is uncheck this checkbox that was defaulted for you and you would have the recall feature out. So it went from a feature to a bug that quick. So does that mean recall is becoming mandatory? Well, it looks like the verdict is still out on this one, but I'm gonna explain to you why even if it's not mandatory, it's going to be very hard to turn off. Just like Windows in the past has focused on getting rid of local accounts, instead making you sign in with a live account, a Outlook account or whatever you wanna call it nowadays, Microsoft 365, I don't know anymore, but they want you to log in and use their cloud accounts instead of you just being able to create a local administrator and account 
to manage your computer. They've gone so far as to making you disable Wi-Fi, jumping through all sorts of hoops in order not to actually sign in and be able to make that local account. What makes us think that it's going to be any easier with recall? They just keep using words like easily find and remember things with natural language. Cool. Yeah, that's great. But how do I disable it if I don't want it? Because I don't want it. So they say, oh, well, you can just turn off saving snapshots. Well, does that just stop saving snapshots? Is it still taking pictures of your screen? I don't think it really mentions that out here. And it claims that snapshot storage content stays local. Sure, with privacy and security built in. Yeah, right. It didn't take anything but a few days for someone to exploit this recall feature because it was utterly so stupid the way that they saved and did not really encrypt data at the very beginning of this. Why do you think they're going to get it right the first time or at any point in time? I personally think that this feature is being pushed out way too fast. It's not being thought through and it's being forced down our throats. Another reason to start thinking about switching to Linux. Anyways, update on recall security privacy architecture. Here's the current recall out of box experience page. This is where you are getting to maybe opt out of actually being able to use recall. I still don't think that this is something that gives you the full control of uninstalling it. I think it just says, no, don't save the snapshots, which is ridiculous. I don't want the service. I don't want the feature get rid of it. I want to be able to uninstall this. I don't care on what computer it is. It's a computer that you purchased with an operating system and you get the choice of your operating system. So why remain on something that is so forcing and unaccommodating? I really don't like this, especially with all this flip-flopping that has been going on. We accidentally put in a remove feature. I mean, how do you accidentally do that? That just makes no sense. Clearly in the background, they don't know what route they're going to take. They want to force people to use it. They don't want to make it easy to uninstall. Even if you have the option to uninstall, what kind of hoops are we going to have to jump from? So even if recall becomes mandatory, know that Windows is still not mandatory and that you can switch to Linux or another operating system that will give you the freedom of choice, that will give you options to uninstall anything that you want, and that allows you to choose whether or not you share private information. I just want you all to be aware of all of this confusion that Microsoft Windows is still creating for us with this new quote unquote recall feature. Let me know what you think about this all in the comment section below. Do you trust Microsoft to retrace your steps with recall and to keep that safe? I personally don't. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.